Hello neighbor, welcome to Ravenbrook's episode 4 released earlier today. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a full recap and breaking down everything you missed. This is episode 4 of 6 in season 1 of the Hello Neighbor animated series titled Is It Kidnapping If The Kid Isn't Napping? Which is probably the worst thing about this episode, although I do believe they shortened it to kidnapping for the thumbnail. This is a really special episode because it actually contains the storyline for act 1 of the original game, which is the first time we've seen any Hello Neighbor gameplay inside of the animated series and it's the most exciting episode. Yet. This episode starts where the last one left off with the gang getting ready to break into Mr. Peterson's house. PD shows up in his signature red car from the games with a trunk full of some very strange things. We still are not really sure what he's doing. I kind of think that like just with the grave digging in the last episode, these are all red herrings to throw us off from what he's actually doing. But what we do know is that just like in the games, he's protecting something that's locked in his basement since he's boarded up the windows and put that big red lock right on the basement door. This is where the rest of the gang really starts to have second thoughts. Ivan leaves first, followed by Maritza, and then finally Enzo, who just seems to be always scared in this show. I think he's definitely gonna have to have some sort of character arc of overcoming his fear in the next two episodes. Anyway, now Mr. Peterson is just like in the game doing his stretches, baiting Trinity and Nikki to enter his house. And finally, when the neighbor goes inside, Nikki goes for it. Now, my favorite thing about this part of the episode is that it almost perfectly follows act one of the original game, with Nikki climbing up onto the roof and then through the window on the right side of the house. Although, not really sure what they did with that scene of him walking down the street and kicking the ball. That's just not in this. Nikki is going to now start searching the upstairs part of the house for the red key to unlock that lock on the basement door. I like in this scene as he's searching through some stuff, you actually see a shot of the bang bang gun from Hello Neighbor. Well, Nikki finds the key and then we get our first neighbor chase scene. I'm a bit disappointed in this scene that we didn't see more of the house because the whole thing is filmed through Trinity's binoculars watching from the outside. But there is a good bit when the neighbor is chasing Nikki through the house where he actually throws a chair through the window just like he does in the games. Finally, the chase seems to have stopped and Nikki goes to unlock the basement door when Mr. Peterson walks up behind him and grabs him. As the neighbor takes Nikki down into the basement, we actually get a clip of the neighbor's voice through the walkie-talkie. Tell whoever you want. I'll never believe you. We all knew what he was going to sound like in this show before because we all got a voice teaser about a month ago, which I'm actually surprised by the fact that that wasn't in this episode. I'm assuming that's going to be next episode. The neighbor is voiced by Armin Taylor, who I think does a really good job. Although I'm not sure about the writing for the dialogue, I think they kind of leaned into the creepy side of the neighbor too much. At this point in the story, I think the neighbor should be more desperate and scared than creepy because I think they took it a bit too far with this when we get a terrifying shot of the neighbor taking Nikki away and the episode ends. Honestly, I think this episode was a bit disappointing compared to the last one. It actually only ended up being nine minutes and most of it was taken up by talking. We now have two episodes left in season one of the animated series, episodes five and six. Episode five is actually already up on the Tiny Build YouTube channel titled Nikki Gone and its description reads post episode four is going to be wild. Now I'm assuming that episode five is going to follow the gang recruiting Delroy and Finch, both of whom we've already seen in this series and they are the only two members of the secret neighbor gang who haven't begun in Investigating yet. And then episode 6 will be the TV adaptation of the secret neighbor storyline. I can't really think how they would do the neighbor disguising himself as a kid. I assume they'll just make one of the kids a traitor in this version of the storyline. I swear if they do though, it'll be Ivan. That guy's had like two lines in the whole show and one of them was this. Ivan, you met him. What do you think? I don't want to talk about it. As for Nikki, he's been left how Act 1 left off, and I think we'll see him return in one of the next two episodes for Act 2 in which he'll escape the basement. So that's my full breakdown and review of this episode. I'll be back here covering the next two episodes when they release next week and the week after, so if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm DJ Magones, I'll see you all next time.